so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video is our monthly collab hosted by Food Makeup Skin, and this month's theme is Euphoria Makeup. Not gonna lie, I had no idea what it was. Now, I have seen looks on Instagram and YouTube, but I didn't really know where this arose. Fun fact, it's a show, so I definitely had to do a little bit of research and kind of figure out what Euphoria makeup actually was. I think I'm going to attempt glitter tears. Not really sure how it's gonna work out, but then again, I don't have the rhinestones to line around my eyelid over here. I do have glitter and I have glitter glue. We're gonna be crying some glitter over here. Maybe not just glitter, actual tears too. Who knows how this is gonna go over. I will link my collabs playlist to watch previous collabs. And if you're visiting from any of the channels, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like before you leave. For this look, I was bouncing back and forth between some of the ColourPop 9 Pan palettes like Ooh La La, Lie Like You A Lot, or It's My Pleasure. And I almost went with It's My Pleasure. It had beautiful purples and berry shades, but I figured let's try a new palette that we haven't used yet. We've only swatched it in the Makeup Revolution Party Vibes video, and it is the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Cotton Candy Palette. And this is what the palette looks like and what we will be working with to create a euphoria look. I've already gone ahead and done my foundation using the NYX Born Aglow. My brows are filled in with the Brow Gal Pencil, and my eyes are primed with the Urban Decay Potion Primer. To start off the look, we're gonna take a light and airy, and I will be using my trusty Luxie Beauty 205 Taper Blending Brush. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan, and we're just going to slab it on all over the crease. This is a gorgeous shade. Just working on getting the shade placed on here first, and then we will clean up the blend. Also, comment below if you have watched the show Euphoria. I did add it to my queue to watch just because I figured if I'm doing a look inspired by it, I might as well give the show a chance. Aside from that, I don't really know much about the show, what it's about, who's in it. When Laura said we're doing a Euphoria look, I'm like, okay, I went with the flow. <laughs> Pretended to know what she was talking about. I had so many different looks, but I kind of wish I had some of the rhinestones to align around my lid. I thought that would look super cool. It would probably not look nearly as pretty. With my placement and my shaky hands, probably would look like a sad tear. I really like this shade. It's blending out quite nice. And for BH Cosmetics, these pans are huge. I was not expecting that when I was looking on Ulta's website. I love monochromatic palettes. I thought they had really good color stories. This formula is really good too. Now that is pretty bold because I've only swatched it and applied this one shade, but so far, so good. BH Cosmetics is also a brand I cannot resist anytime they have a launch. Next, we're gonna take Confection. This shade has less kick up than Light and Airy, and I'm gonna be working around the edges of Light and Airy to help diffuse any harshness we have. Where these shades meet, I really like the color that they're forming. And I wasn't sure if I should have gone in with Confection first or Light and Airy first, and I think Doing it this way is working out really nice. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Fluff. And for Fluff, we are only going to go like the first, either third or half section of the lid. I think that's good right there.
And then for the remaining portion of the lid, we're gonna take swirl. I'm gonna add some eyeliner to my lid and waterline. It's a shame that I really like the look right now because it's going to get ruined with these glitter tears. I'm not gonna smoke out the entire portion of my lower lash line, but sugar plum, I'm at least gonna get like the outer and inner portions and then glitter tears or just tears in general. Maybe I went a little too far. Maybe I'll just go all the way. Be a nice marker for the tears. Okay, glitter tears. So I'm going to be taking a nude shade and I'm dipping into my Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette. I'm gonna take the shade Naked to help outline the tear and then I'm gonna take some of the Too Faced Glitter Insurance to fill in the tear and then we'll see how this glitter applies. It's very faint and it might not show up on camera. Hopefully these tears are long enough. This glitter is going all over the place right now. I 
I don't know, I don't feel like my glitter tears are nearly as cute, but then again, these are like glitter flakes, so maybe it's because they chunky. We're just out here trying. Before I add some lashes, I'm gonna take twirl in the inner corners. I'm gonna take the Flop Beauty Lashes in the style Abundance. And then I'm gonna take some mascara to blend in my natural lashes with the falsies and then take the Tarte Tartiste Easy on the Eyes Eyeliner for the upper waterline. Usually I would be worried about getting some glitter in my eye right now and I got eyeliner in my contact so it is watering like crazy. I'm gonna take my Tarte Tartiste Pro Glow Palette to bronze and blush and then I have a new highlighter that I think that's gonna go well with this look to try out. Tears be in the way of my face makeup. And then I have the new Glam Light highlighter that we got in the Foodie Box Mexico edition. What kind of lips do we wear in Euphoria? I think I'm like a pink. This is Mother from KVD. Will this work? And this is the completed Euphoria look. Oh gosh, the glitter getting too close to the eye area right there. Overall, I think the look turned out okay. The tears, they are a work in progress. I have to say that I really enjoyed using this Beach Cosmetics Sweet Shop Cotton Candy Palette. It's a beautiful monochromatic palette. I think there's a lot to be offered in this palette. I really like the balance in this palette of shimmers and mattes. And I also like how different they are, but they create such a beautiful, cohesive look. Everything blended out super nice, pretty effortless, really good pigmentation. I foresee some staining on my eyes, but that's okay. That just means it's really good staying power. And I believe these are $18. I picked them up at Ulta, so you can use the 350 coupon just to save a little coin. I'm not sure if they're available on BH Cosmetics website. I know they kind of flew off the shelf really quick, but I'm really excited to try the other ones. I did pick up the rest. It was my intent to do a swatch video of all the palettes doing some comparisons. If that's something you're still interested in, let me know in the comments below. I really enjoyed the setup of my Makeup Revolution Party Vibes palette. I had a lot of fun doing that swatch video, so I hope that was helpful and that's something I can definitely do moving forward for some other palette comparisons. I would love to know if you created any Euphoria inspired looks. Did you guys do tears like me or did you go like the rhinestone approach and have you watched the show Euphoria? Let me know how it is in the comments below if it's something I should look into probably will at least watch episode one get an idea of why we are crying glitter putting rhinestones on our lids and let me know if you have picked up any of those BH cosmetic palettes and how do they work out for you don't forget to watch everyone else's looks there will be a playlist link in the description below thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't I appreciate your view anyways and I'll see you in the next video Bye.